Rappers in Nigeria live to the best rapper arrived, and that's me, AO, NFB, G Swag, the showtime. They won't from shop guys, but they're really bunch of some good. Hey, welcome to another episode of LA to the Bay. We're joined here with AO, is it AO Africa, AO Music? Um, well, AO. I mean, it's AO, and what happened was on Facebook it was AO, then on Twitter I graduated to AO Africa, then on Instagram it's AO World. And now on Snapchat is AO Universe. I want to talk about a couple things with you. Mm-hmm. I know you moved back to Nigeria obviously a few years ago. Yes, and yes. when you were here, you were doing music. Yeah. Um, but you you were doing music as a hobby, I would say. Yeah. And then you kind of like were like, okay, I'm not gonna do this. Then you yeah. moved back to Nigeria and you were like, okay, you fell in love with this again. And yeah. you were like, I'm gonna start and go back to music. Mm-hmm. And then you came out with um. A video a couple years ago for Songora and you had some songs out and after that we didn't hear about you anymore. What happened? It was, was more to face some more personal, you know, dealing with my parents, trying to get them settled, some more um with more non-music responsibilities. Okay. That was what that was. And also funny enough, it wasn't even that I left it. You know the funny thing about this world is they say, eh, in Nigeria everybody won't blow, eh? they won't blow, you won't blow. Right. If you can't necessarily blow right now right. because of opportunities, money or whatever it might right, just right, be, right. then I just suggest that you learn how to blow. Okay. So that was what I was kinda doing for those two years. How do you describe your sound? Mm, I say I make Buffet music, you know. Oh, buffet music. Yeah, buffet music in the okay. sense that basically it's a variety and there's all kinds of stuff for you to come. And the whole point is that you be able to have different um, options uh-huh. and then eat and get enough of it to the point where you come back for more. I kind of fuse the whole American thing with the, or should I say, Western world with the African world, mm-hmm. and then just blend it. So what are you working on now? I know I've been sitting around, you know, social media that you're working with Vector, who's um, a huge rapper in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so how did that come about? Vector, I met him like I think uh, 2013 summer, mm-hmm. and, um, and what's funny about this thing is that when I did that song or song, he's actually one of the, the rappers that I took some shit. Took yeah, shout out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, it's kind of like funny because... Did he have anything to say about that? Well, this is how it went. The studio that I recorded, the guy was like, come through, you know, since I was just up anyway. Right. And he just happened to be a studio that Vector was using and right. recording his mixtape at that time, uh-huh. A7. Um, so we just bumped into each other and he was working on one song. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting, just sitting in the studio, just being home with me. And I started mm-hmm. coming up to flows to the song, like for a certain verse. Right, right. Everybody was in the studio, that made sense. So. I was like, hey, he was like, yeah, you can put that on, so you can put the verse on. But then when I put the verse on, I felt like I was put fake. Like, I was like, hold up, let me just get a little disclaimer out there. I was like, guys, hold up, bro. I I don't enter you before in one song like this. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? I just was like, let me just tell you straight right up. Now. And, and just in case, you know, you never know what it would be. And he was like, oh, yeah, it's cool. I did started hype manning for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we went on the road together. We did a tour. We went on tour together. We did shows in December. We were killing them back to back. And it was so crazy because we we're going to other people's shows and we were killing other people's shows. Wow. Um, all it, um, the headies or whatever. So there was the hype man thing and then from the hype man thing he was giving me shots and people were like, oh, you know, on social media were like, this Vector's uh, hype man is a rapper too, of the low too. Right, right. Right. So it was our way and our strategy of kind of penetrating me and okay. bringing me out. Yeah. So what are you guys working on? Do you have any new music coming out? Yeah. What's to do with that? Um, well, of course. That's to me. We always created a record that I just did out there, mm-hmm. featuring um, Vector and my first single, Vector and Jesse Jazz. Okay. So I came out here to mix it and to okay. maybe do shoot some viral videos while I'm out here also. Mm-hmm. So you should be hearing stuff from me once I get back in about March. All right, all right. So you know, as a rapper, you know we can't let you go if you know without spitting some bars. For us. This is LA to the Bay. Um, last episode I watched was featuring Sway. Yes, and I don't know the formation or the information, but if you ask Beyonce, my sister, they slay. Yeah, anything is all great. All great. Fifty Shades of Grey, that's Fifty Shades of African. That's me. A to the O. I ain't never been up. You know, I never been up. But I know some people that grow because I be high all day. High like my father's BP. No, if we sip it, then it's DP. That's 
Don Perignon, I'm so very on. Listen, freestyle of the dome, if it's freestyle they want, they should check my closet. I be flowing all day, they should check the faucet. They see me, they think say now Yankee boys, so they think say now what's up. I'm on me, I get fine money, I'm trying to buy a Range Rover, the same color as shower shop. That's green on the inside, white on the outside. I just met the girl inside, now I'm in the outside. Ah, uh, haba, chai, yekba, me my eyes in red, pass the undertaker. And I'ma keep grinding till I reach my make. I think I fell in love with music. When I heard I need to bake her. Oh yeah, funny thing, I never shop right at shop right if you know shop right. Uh, if you never shine your eye, I hope your Nokia phone has a touch light. My skies used to be all gray, now it's all rainbow. I went from pushing the keket to pushing the benzo. This is Bars, aka AO, Mr. Got More Bars than Law School. If this is about class system, then I'm the principal of your school. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, he's all right. You know, I got the bars on deck. I give them, I give them, I give them. I got to wait for next episode. Bye bye. This is Eric to the Bay Ale. Thanks for stopping by. Shout out to Ale. Thank you very much. All right, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that button.